Do you want to learn how to make custom crafting recipes in Minecraft? Well, you've come to the right place. Today I'll show you how to make custom crafting recipes like the one you see here in under 10 minutes. So if this video is at all helpful to you, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. I'm pretty new to the YouTube scene and it would help me out a ton. With that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is find your world folder. If you don't know how to do this, one of the easiest ways is just to find your world, click on edit, and open world folder right here. And that should take you here. And if you see this data packs folder, just open that up. And here is where we are going to create our data pack with our custom recipes. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is make a new folder and name it whatever you want. This is just going to be a name for your data pack. So I'm gonna call mine crafting tutorial. Double click on that to open it up. And then here we need two things. The first thing is another folder called data. And the next thing is this pack.mc meta file. So to make this, just create a new text document and rename it. But when you rename it, you need to rename this .txt as well. So call it pack.mc meta. And once you do that, you're going to want to open this in a text editor. And you can just copy the text that you see here on screen. So this pack format tells Minecraft what version of the game your data pack is meant for, but it should work even if this version is wrong. And then the other thing is a description, which you can change this to whatever you want. Once you're done, hit Control S to save and close that. Now in data, we need to make a new folder, and this will be the namespace for your data pack. So this is the name that is used in commands, so try and keep it short. No spaces and no capital letters. So I'm going to call mine crafting, just like that. And inside here, we need to make a new folder called recipe, which is the folder that will have all our custom recipes in it. So create that. And inside here, again, we need to make a new text document and rename this to be your recipe. So I'm going to call this one creeper underscore egg, and it needs to be a .json file. And I don't want to go through and modify this all myself. There's a lot of syntax and stuff to remember. So I'm actually going to use a really helpful tool when making data packs called Mesode. The link, you can see it up here, mesode.github.io. And when you come here, if you don't see recipe anywhere, just click All Generators, and you should find it here. So once you get to the recipe generator, just make sure this is set to the right version of the game. And now, when you click on Type here, you'll see a lot of different things. You have campfire cooking, blasting, crafting shaped, shapeless, smelting, and you can make custom recipes for, like, a blast furnace or something. But for this, I'm going to use crafting shapeless. Crafting shapeless is something like a book where you can put the items in any order and it does not matter. We can just skip over group here. And for category, this will be the category in the recipe book that you want it for. So you don't need to set this, but I'll just put mine to miscellaneous. And now we need to add ingredients. So for my first, I want a creeper head. And you should see it appear up here. And if you hit this add, you can actually have it so that it can cycle between two different things, you know, like for boats, it can really be like any wood type except the netherwoods. So here I can use either a creeper or skeleton skull, but I just want the creeper head. And if you add more ingredients, I can add my egg down here. And there we have an egg and a creeper head in any order. 
and now we need to add our result. So reset that, and the ID will be creeper spawn egg. And you should see it appear there. And I'm going to make mine four since creeper heads are not too easy to get. But you can set this count to anything up to 99, I believe. And then you can add components to the egg if you want it to have any enchantments, for example. Right here, you could add enchantments. But I'm going to leave it as a normal creeper spawn egg. So after that. Just copy this entire thing it generates for you, go back to your files, open this, and just paste all the text in here, and hit Control s to save it. Now, I want to add one more thing, so I'm just going to copy this and paste it, and I'm going to rename this to debug underscore stick. I'm going to make a recipe for a debug stick, so if we go back, this one I'm going to make crafting shaped. So this one will have to have a specific order, and it's a bit different on how you do this. So I'm actually just going to reset this to default and put in crafting shaped. So it resets everything here. Category, again, I'm going to do miscellaneous. And here is our pattern. This is the pattern that we have to put in the items. So add three of these, one for each row across, and if you want to have empty space, you put a space in here. So I'd put like item one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So all of these would be item one, all of these are item two, and all of these are item three. And if I wanted this one to be air, I'd just replace it with a space. So I want to do stick, which I'll name S. I want to do an enchanting book for E and another stick. I'll do an enchanting book, another star enchanting book. These letters don't have to match mine. You can do whatever you want as long as only one item per character. And then I'll do stick, enchanting book, and stick. So I'll have a stick here, enchanting book, stick, enchanting book, nether star, enchanting book, stick, enchanting book, stick. But what if we want to see these like on the other one? Well, that's where you add your key. So I'm going to add my S, which will be my stick. And again, you can add more here if you want it to be able to be different things. But now you can see everywhere that we put S now has a stick. So what if we want to do our E? We can add our enchanted book, and you can see that appears, and then N, which is our nether star. And there we go. And I want this to make a debug stick. Right there, just one of them. So feel free to mess around. If you need any help with this, just ask me in the comments. And down here, we can copy this entire thing. Also, the show notification, if you want it to give you like a pop-up in the top right when you unlock the recipe, you can do that. So I'm just going to copy this and replace all this in here and control us to save that. Now we go back to Minecraft, we can cancel out of here. If you start your world, this should just work if you are already in your world. You need to do slash reload. But now, if I get a creeper head and an egg, we should be able to put them in and get four creeper spawn eggs. Our debug stick. And if we find miscellaneous, we should be able to find our recipes in here. There's our debug stick and our creeper spawn egg. I hope you enjoyed this video, like I said at the beginning. If you did, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And if there are any tutorials that you would like me to make, just leave a comment and I'll see if I can do that for you. Anyway, see you next time. Bye!